That's a new feature. <laughs> yes. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Zoom knows everything. Okay, um, my name is Ann Chow. I'm based in Toronto and have been a Kim bit for, I saw the play when it was at Sol, uh, Soul Pepper and uh, that was amazing. And I've also seen um, Ince Choi do his one man show, uh, Subway Stations of the Cross and was just blown away. So if you ever have a chance to see him act as well, he's an incredible, incredible actor as well. Um, so I'm really pleased to do this and welcome you guys. So glad. This is going to be fun. You guys have a, we have a lot of awesome things in store. So be excited. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, feel free to use the, the, uh, the uh, chat function just for greetings, but also for if you have some questions or comments, uh, we'll try to pick that up where we're not going to do some open mic and, uh, questions until we get to the um until we get to those breakout rooms because that that otherwise uh, it'll kind of interrupt things in the flow mm -hmm. so uh you know we'll kind of go on on that basis so uh, i think uh chi hung is our uh technical person and he's going to be keeping track of the uh, uh of the chat as well yes oh daniel i wanted to say I don't know if you guys caught it, but there's been some awards that happened about a week ago with mm -hmm. the Canadian Screen Awards from for yes. this last year. And so just want to shout out to Appa, <laughs> who won for Best Lead Actor of Comedy in Canada, which is huge. Um, so good. And then next is... It's your boy, Andrew Fung. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so he is Best um, Supporting Actor for Comedy. So way to go, yeah. Andrew. He's crushing it. Um, and the next one is uh, Pastor Nina. Oh, Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> and then the last one is the photographer. <laughs> That's his successful face. Yes. Um, <laughs> James Klopko, who did, I guess, for one show, he won photography. And I. so that's really cool. I didn't know they won per show. So we have to also promote... Henry's photo too. Hopefully he wins for next year. Mm -hmm. so I have to say everybody on the show should be winning all the awards. I don't understand why some of the people didn't win awards. Everybody's okay. incredible. <laughs> well, and then obviously best cast is Kim's Convenience. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Honestly, we love you guys all. So anyway, Daniel, do you want to introduce everybody? Okay, we'll just uh, introduce uh, yeah, the, the four main people that we, uh, we had, um, that we highlighted, uh, Sujith, I think he is, uh, he ducked out a bit, but he's gonna, he's, oh, there he is, okay. I'm right here, I haven't left any. <laughs> okay, okay, I know I you're. Will be, I will be a little distracted by a certain hockey game. Yeah, you are <laughs> multitasking. You may see me disappear, but it's, please don't take it personally. <laughs> okay. Just mute yourself. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm not going to go through all the big bios, so just just give us a little bit uh, about yourself and uh, and uh, say hello to everybody. Uh, are you asking me, Daniel? Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Sujith. I played Mr. Meta on Kim's Convenience. I will forever miss playing Mr. Meta on Kim's Convenience. Um, I, I also am on a show called Transplant uh, uh, on NBC and on CTV. Um, playing a very different character from Mr. Meta, so if you're interested, you could check that out. Um, and uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm really thrilled that you asked me to be here. Yay! Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, Sujith is one of our. He, he's like a Kimbit because he shows up at the fan events, and uh, we asked him to come to a luncheon, and he joined a number of us. So he's been really and really uh, connecting with us. Uh, well, I was expecting somebody to pay, but I, I, pay, so I, <laughs> we I will, uh, we'll, we'll make up for that. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, shameful. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, are, do you want to introduce some or you want me to just go one by one, uh, Anne? Um, yeah, I can introduce the handies. Yeah, <laughs> why don't you go ahead. All right, so it's my pleasure to introduce the handy staff that are here. <laughs> of course we are. Um, who is with us and she honestly you're my favorite don't tell anyone your your timing <laughs> is ridiculous 
Oh my Thanks. gosh. Just cracked up for days after remembering your, your lines. Do you want to introduce yourself quickly? And Yeah. Hi guys. This is like one of my first Kimbit events. Um, so thank you for having me. Um, my name is Akosia. I'm a gem. Akosia means Sunday child from the Ashanti tribe in Ghana. That's where I'm from. I was born there and I came here when I was like five years old. Um, and I've been in Toronto ever since. Um, um, most of my career has been in theater. I've done a lot of shows over the last 12 years um, all over the city. And I hope when COVID, <laughs> when COVID, you know, finds another home mm -hmm. um, off of our planet, um, I hope to get back on stage and performing live again. But Kim's Convenience has been amazing for me and I'm so thankful and grateful to be a mm -hmm. part of it. So yeah, that's me. I actually attended your online play that you did a reading. For. My reading? Yes, oh, it was amazing. Oh God. That it I've been writing so five years. <laughs> what was Thank it called you. again? Uh, it's called Table for Two. Mm. Table for Two. It's about me Gosh. trying to find love <laughs> <laughs> while being really? African. So, yeah, it's really relatable. Hey, all of you guys who are the cast members, could you put your social media handles in our chat so we can follow you and support you after? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the next person from Handy is Ziad. Woo! Okay, my question Woo! for you, well, for obviously to introduce yourself, but my question was, were there supposed to be hints of you actually having a crush on Stacy? Oh, um, sorry, say that again. <laughs> Doc. I was catching a little bit of like a little crush on crush on Stacy. Is that was that supposed to happen, or is that you know your chemistry? Uh, I mean, I can't reveal what happens in season five, right? Per right. for what you've uh, asked of us. Okay. Um, but uh, Omar, um, I mean, I'm flattered that uh, that you you saw chemistry with Stacy. Uh, Kosia and I started at the same time. Um, we so, did. You know, we're kind of like this on the show, but uh, I think Omar just kind of mm -hmm. um, just uh, tries to get uh, get some love with anyone really that's remotely available. Omar, so <laughs> Omar's an open spirit. He, he yeah. he's, open, he's open to any, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, right? Um, well, I'm I'm single, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, whoa, um, okay, we're recording this. That's embarrassing. Yeah, uh, a little bit about me. Um, yeah. I guess uh, I'm, uh, I'm, um, my name is Ziad. Uh, a lot of people read it as Ziad, uh, but it's Ziad. Oh, <laughs> so I've added that to my bio now. You guys got it. So kudos on you. Uh, I'm Egyptian Canadian. Um, I uh, moved to Montreal. I immigrated to Montreal uh, when I was two years old, hence the Montreal Canadian support here. Don't judge me. I'm in Toronto now, but I, I can't help it. You know, like it's Montreal <laughs> all the way. <laughs> um, and uh, what else? Uh, I, I'm 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 a newbie here. Basically, I literally. This is funny. A funny coincidence. My first day on Kim, which was my first day um, professionally working as an actor, was three years to this day. It was uh, May 29th, uh, 2018. Aww. So. To this day, today, oh, three-year anniversary of my professional debut, I guess, oh. um, coming out of theater school, where my background is. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me. And yeah, I am, I am uh, francophone. Uh, le français c'est ma, ma première oh. langue, mais oh. je le parle moins parce que je vis à Toronto maintenant. So wow, <laughs> excellent. Good. That's hot. Thank okay. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Back over so uh, <laughs> our fourth is. Uh, called the serial customer. <laughs> That's the, uh, the credit that is given. And this is Gavin Williams. I, I met him a couple of times uh, because of uh, going to, down to the uh, uh, Bad Dog Theater where Andrew Fung and others were. Uh, and, and basically I think, you know, Gavin probably knows Andrew the best of most people, I think, right? Uh, but, uh, I, uh, I know, yeah, I know Andrew pretty well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I went down to one and I, I said, hi. And then he gave me this, you know, oh, uh, that nice headshot. Uh, okay, well, hang, hang on, hang on. I should explain what's going on. Because this just looks like I'm a guy who has a credit called serial customer and then goes out and hands 
uh, headshots out <laughs> to the fans of the show. But I just want to be clear that I, that uh, the bit we were playing was professional actors. We were like, uh, me and Andrew and everyone in were like overdoing the idea of an actor. So we brought out our headshots and handed them out. Like, we were like, look at us. You're so lucky to get our headshot. Um, so um, I'm not quite so self-important that I would just randomly give out <laughs> headshots to people. Well, um, it, it says on here, it says, no, I'm your biggest, uh, I'm your biggest fan. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was really good. Makes, makes me look so bad. But, but anyway. I, I, I picked up a Reddit <laughs> thread today and uh, later I guess somebody deleted it. But the question was, Gavin Williams, what type of accent does he have? Uh, <laughs> Is it European or New Zealand? So I'll let you uh, respond to that. <laughs> it's, um, well, European. Um, that's um, it's a pretty big geographic area, although it covers <laughs> the entire planet from New Zealand to Europe. Uh, no, I'm, I'm from the UK. I'm from London originally, at least I was born there. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, then I moved to, uh, my family moved to Canada when I was 12. And I, I kind of held on to a bit of the accent, uh, but then Canada seeped its way in, and now I'm a, a mix, which is why no one is 100% sure. They go, oh, something's up, something's up here. Mm. Um, yeah, so now, yeah, and actually, um, I moved to um, southern Alberta to, uh, well, originally a place called Lethbridge, and then to Calgary, which is where I met Andrew, um, Andrew Fung. And uh, we worked at the same theatre company, a place called Loose Moose theater which is an improv company and we spent many years um working there like a few times a week uh we worked there so we were always um always like sort of in each other's worlds and then i moved to toronto and then just after i moved to toronto uh he uh, calls me and goes hey guess what i just uh booked a show the film's in toronto so um i i, I couldn't escape andrew <laughs> as much as i tried he followed me across the country <laughs> and, now he, and now he lives here so um Yes. Hello. Cool. Yeah. Great. Great. Welcome. Welcome. Good. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do next, because we're we want to involve the the whole cast that we have with us. So this is your participation at this point for all of our Kimbits. So what we're going to do is uh, we actually have three uh, supporting casts coming in, and uh, we're we're going to give some clues for those. So the first one who puts either their, you know, official name or Kim's convenience name into the chat, don't start yet until we give the first clue. And so uh, Chi Hung is going to monitor that. And so let us know when somebody guesses the correct, uh, the correct cast member. So these are supportive cast members. So they're not the, you know, the main cast that we usually see, okay? All right. So uh, also don't put, don't I don't know we're watching you. Don't touch your phones there or, you know, do your searches. <laughs> we know you got to cheat. So uh, uh -oh. just try to use your memory. Just <laughs> a lot of fun. Give them the idea to do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's where it says, you know, don't don't tap on the glass, uh, you know, <laughs> the Edmonton West Mall. OK, so let me go to the some for the first one. So our mystery guest number one. <laughs> hang on. I need to. Pull up. Jovin, I see you checking your phone, by the way. I see yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're checking the hockey score right? with yeah, their yeah, phones, apparently. Right. Okay, our, our first cast member uh, is listed as a set decorator as well as an actress. Who might this cast be? So that's the first clue. Okay, the second clue is um, a singer and a hockey parent. Okay, our third clue, it's this person is uncredited in five episodes in seasons one to four, but, we'll, but was in seven episodes in addition to that, so like, the person's name was listed in seven episodes, seasons one to four, but considered uncredited in five episodes. Anybody guess yet? Chiang, not yet? Well, those are not very revealing clues. Uh, okay, we'll get, we'll get further. Trouble. <laughs> All right. Okay, this person has appeared in Canadian 
TV show. Oh, we have an answer. Kevin Lee. Correct? The correct answer? I believe so. Okay. Uh, can that person uh, let us know? I'm here. <laughs> okay. 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 So, yeah, Christina Song, we got, can you uh, tell us a bit more about yourself? I think you said everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's all that I can dig up. <laughs> I have a leaf jersey on. Sorry. Okay. To that. <laughs> Wait, where are you? Um, I mean, I live in Toronto. No, but like your alias. Oh. Oh, I'm Esther Park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I'm trying to find you. Should I, can you. I don't know. Can you change my name? I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll do it for you. And I think you, you like the others, are putting on a Korean accent, right? Yes, I don't have a real accent, like an accent in real life. But right. he so does. Just like, <laughs> just like Paul and Jean, so. Yeah. I always thought I would do that for one of my classes because, uh, you know, when... <laughs> It, when people just see your face and they assume that maybe, you know, like, like I would have an accent and they always say, you know, especially when we're, you know, in our Asian Heritage Month, they would say something, your English is so good. You know, of course, I was born in the States and I mm. can trace three to six generations uh, in North America. But mm. my Canadian accent is not good, probably more American accent. <laughs> well, tell, tell us a bit more what you've been up to. Um, well, I'm a mom. I am uh, living through the pandemic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm waiting for um, for some of the restrictions to lift. I do have a few projects that I'm waiting for mm -hmm. uh, to be able to shoot this year. But um, yeah, I my I'm usually a hockey mom, which is where you, that's part mm -hmm. of my handle. I have two daughters who play hockey, oh. um, and so I do. I'm looking off the screen because I have like a the game on <laughs> but um uh, not the only one <laughs> what's the score <laughs> not here. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero. Um, and what else i do sing i'm a singer classically trained oh. uh, but i love singing anything and uh we have a lot of music in our house so oh. yeah that's nice great so we'll we'll have more uh to get to know you better so sure. thank you so kevin lee is going to get a prize so i <laughs> Let's go with, I just went down to uh, Kim's Convenience Store this week. So we have this, uh, this bag, uh, which I got from the store. It's kind of like a tote bag. So you don't have to pay for plastic bags or if you could actually use them. So it has OKCU on the back. And uh, so we'll figure out how to get that to you in, uh, in Vancouver, right, Kevin? <laughs> Thank you, and I'm in uh, California. Oh, California, right, okay. Thank you, but we'll... Uh, Next time I go to California, probably end of the year. <laughs> yeah, I know we'll the Bay Area, so I know you're from this. You said you're from this area, so. Um, well, I'm from the Bay Area, but my brother-in-law is in Los Angeles area. Okay. Where, where are you at? Which city? Are I know you San Jose. In? Oh, San Jose. Okay, so Bay Area. Yeah. <laughs> but I will uh, use that bag uh, proudly at all the uh, targets and uh, other stores around here. Yeah, I'll figure out a way of. Uh, oh, send me. Oh, I, I have your contact information. Yeah, I'll figure out a way of uh, mailing it to you. Just quite interestingly, yesterday I received a mail from the States and it was a Christmas card. So it actually took like four months to get here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn it to Anne for our second uh, uh, guest reveal. Okay, so here are the clues. Um, <laughs> she wrote these herself. So she said, she wears a great pony. <laughs> hmm. And uh, she's prone to emotional outbursts. <laughs> she gives great dating advice. Mm. Oh, not Shannon. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Chelsea does not give great dating advice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Six months is when you knows. I guess that's one of her lines, maybe. Mm. And then you're brave, dude. And she's the shortest handy... Mm -hmm. Employee. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a winner. Hey, Chris Ray. Yeah. Not Melissa. <laughs> awesome. You, Great. So, do we have the clip uh, there, Chiu? Yeah, let me just cue, cue that, that up first before yeah. uh, as, she, as she comes on. <laughs> Melissa, we need a mid sized SUV stat. Uh, that's not my name. I said stat. <laughs> 
Everything okay, Melissa? It's not Melissa. And nice <laughs> of you to ask. Okay, buddy. Tell me all about it. Uh, What's wrong? You obviously care way more about Terrence than, than the rest of us. <laughs> Melanie! Maya! Let her go. Talk about dramatic. Like, rein it in. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. so where okay where are you i can't i'm here i'm here <laughs> hi, hi. hi. oh, oh my, my god i'm so excited to be here hello everybody hi. <laughs> sweet so do you want to uh, introduce yourself a little bit that was a great clip of you Thank you so much for putting that together. That was awesome. Akosia, your, your line delivery, man. You get me every time. Just leave her. Just leave her. I mean, y'all set it up, and I just, you know? Oh, you were brilliant. I'd be in the you. presence of the brilliant Akosia. Let me tell you, it is something else. Um, a bit about me. Okay, um, well, my name is Aya. I'm um, Aya Bryn Zakaria. I was lucky enough to join Kim's Convenience in season three. Um, I was originally cast just like as a day player and then I um, I was asked to come back which was really nice I didn't even have to pay anyone um, they just liked me I guess which was cool um, and then I got to work with these fabulous people with Siad and Ecosia and you know Michael and Andrew and all, all of those wonderful people um, I was born in Jordan but I actually grew up I saw Orange County people before I grew up in California mm -hmm. um, I grew up in Huntington Beach my sister was born in Anaheim so definitely SoCal miss home so all the California peeps hello to you <laughs> yeah. Say hi to the sun and the warmth for me yeah um yeah that's pretty much it I've I've been an actor for a few years now I got lucky enough to land a gig and Kim's convenience um I started out in stunts um mm. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's it. Yeah, ditch the stunt world for the acting world. It's a lot, it's a lot better. <laughs> it's, it's much easier on the knees anyway, but yeah, that's me. What was the craziest stunt you've ever done? Um, I was, uh, I did a stunt where I had to fall off of a roof. I had to Ooh. roll the, the whole gag was, it's, it was a horror film and somebody was trying to pull me up off of the roof and then she like, let me go so I had to hit the roof roll off and then roll off onto that so that was the the craziest stunt I've ever done oh well, I didn't I'm know done. that about you Aya I didn't know you were in stunts that's hey so cool. that's <laughs> I was a soccer as well uh soccer yeah yeah I used to play soccer I was actually um training to be part of the women's national team before I blew out my team oh. before I blew out my team before I blew out my knee <laughs> and then got kicked off the team um, because I couldn't play anymore. But yeah, I was a, a career soccer player before this. Wow. Um, yeah, I've literally- Girl, we need to talk. I'm like, like, I don't, there's so much to move on. I'm hearing about you. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. <laughs> soccer, wow. <laughs> really, it's because when I'm around you, I just want to hear about you. I'm so in love with you. I have the biggest crush wow. on Akosia, so. Uh, <laughs> feeling is mutual, babe. <laughs> I love you. Great. Who, who was the winner of that one? Me. Oh, okay. So, uh, but you can pass it on. Okay. Uh, are you, you interested? On, you can pass on my prize to another lucky Kimbit. Okay. I got something else for you if you're interested. So just pass it on. No, I've got a, I've got a Shang-Chi Lego. <gasps> oh, oh be great. But you can pass it on. It's a little, it's a little small one. Uh, Eight, oh, uh, six, six are over. So uh, my wife is into Lego and she bought the two larger sets. But this one, uh, we got a Toys R Us and I think it's still available. So actually something we can get of Shang-Chi in Canada. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll get that to you, Chris. Chris, uh, oh, okay. Chris is somebody who uh, I've gone with to a lot of the locations. So we've eaten at the, uh, with actually Joe and Marie at the, uh, at the Korean restaurant and we we went there ourselves and we've been I just went actually to the church uh, the outside of the church uh, last uh, this week as well so I call him detective Chris be, uh, Kimbit because he knows all the as many of the sites as possible where the film uh, where Kim's convenience was uh, uh, was uh, shot so great thank you okay our third guest then 
Okay, so uh, this guest was uh, was born in Toronto. Okay, and uh, this uh, was um, he also. This person has like been an assistant director, casting director. Um, he this person was in season one, episode one. Okay, that should be getting closer. This person has. Uh, oh, we have a winner. You have a winner? Got it. <laughs> it is Marie and Joe. Okay, Marie and Joe. So our OG Kim Bibbs as well. So, <laughs> okay. So let's uh, can have um, come on there. Yeah. So this is week. We it's, it's Rod. Rodrigo, or we know him better as uh, Enrique. Uh, so let's give him a big hug. He always <laughs> wants a hug. <laughs> is he is he uh, on? Is he... Has he come on? Uh, well, uh, he might be hidden under a uh, alias, but. We don't know what that alias would be. Maybe he hasn't come on yet either. <laughs> Possibly. We, we sent an update on the schedule, so maybe he's going to come on a bit later. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if we don't see him, I'm sure he's going to be uh, joining us a little bit later then. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think we're going to have some a uh, little bit of discussion with the cast. So Anne has some questions and we can... Is there any... Uh, well, you could start us off with some questions and then maybe there's some... Uh, from uh, from the uh, chat. Mm -hmm. If you guys have questions for the cast, feel free to add them in, and uh, we're going to take a couple minutes, and then we have a guest who's going to show up in a minute as well, and you're going to be excited to see him too, my friend Henry. Okay, questions <laughs> for the cast that I had was, um, what was your favorite moment? Any favorite moments that you're like super proud of? Seasons one to four, because we're not spoiling season five. Anyone? I have very, I have a very, very, very much favorite moment from season five that I can't talk about. But <laughs> once you see it, like it's there's this obvious why it's my favorite. Um, other than that, um, personally, because I knew you'd ask that question, so I was like trying to go through like the fun times on set we had. Um, Stacy's birthday uh initially uh we we shot it like fairly early on in the season and uh the cbc or slash thunderbird i don't know who couldn't get the rights to the song that was initially <laughs> written in so yeah. the only scene that was left to shoot was uh nicole shannon um <laughs> you know singing her part so they had to bring us back like weeks later one morning at like 6 30 in the morning just for that little tiny oh, tiny bit where she's singing and so that was my favorite personally, because I got to show up in the morning, shimmy a little bit, and then go home. And it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, we did get uh, Salt and Pepper eventually, but uh, I forget what the initial song was. I feel like it was like an Alanis Morissette song or something. Yeah, um, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we was. couldn't get the rights to. Um, there's so many. Like... My fa my favorite scene is the Terrence flipping over the table, the puzzle. Oh. <laughs> like he's so I I love Michael Moosey. I think he's a brilliant actor, and and he just kills Terrence every time. And I died every single time <laughs> we went to do that shot where he flips the table. It's just so it's so funny. And then there was um the the hot sauce one where oh, yeah. he was eating wasabi <laughs> where he had to he had to eat he was eating the sushi and they made the wasabi out of i think icing and green food coloring mm -hmm. so they put icing on top of actual sushi Ew. and he ate one <laughs> and it was like mm, i can't do this anymore so <laughs> the take of him eating it throughout that whole take he'd take the bite and then he had like a spit bucket to the side where he would spit out the sushi. Yeah, it, the it was nasty. It smelled it really so bad. Gross. He was begging for actual wasabi. Like he was begging for it. He was like, please, like my my spice threshold is massive. Give me wasabi. Yeah. I'm dying here. Yeah. 
but yeah like that episode and yeah there's just so many but I think my favorites are Terrence like I just love him <laughs> like, oh man how about Gavin or Sugit any favorite moments from you guys I remember my um okay I mean, this is one from the very very beginning that I it kind of stands out for me is um this is like the first episode I was in the first um my first scene I I did there and I had to come in and I had to um like why my character's called cereal customers because I was buying cereal in that first episode and I came in and I I, I did my line I was like oh, I need I need to buy some little um and I, I said my line and as I was saying it you know I'm you know nervous and excited and all that and it it comes out but I have no idea I'm pretty sure I did not say the line right and I know in my head I'm like ah oh, I messed that up whoops and then Ince comes around over and he's like um Kevin you didn't say the line you said blah, blah, blah. I was like oh and I'm ready to say oh, I'm so sorry I messed it. I'm you know it's just the first one he's like no no keep that keep that I was like, oh, nice. Okay, great. Okay, <laughs> yeah. score. And then I was like, yeah. what did I say? Oh no, <laughs> I messed it up the first time because I, I was at the moment and I have no idea what it was. So I just, I just trusted that it would come out again. And it was um, terrifying and delightful. But I also like really nice to not get in trouble because I've messed up lines on other things. And there's, there's somebody who comes up with their big binder and, and it goes, no, you, you said it's instead of it is. And you can't say that. And you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Please don't fire me. And uh, so that was a very nice uh, change. And that, that kind of um, uh, really endeared me to um, that experience. That's awesome. You're just brilliant without even knowing it. <laughs> that's okay so I'll, I'll take, that. <laughs> take it gavin take it take it okay, <laughs> okay so good go for it <laughs> um, well any scene that i had to do with gavin i hated because he always told the scene with one line <laughs> <laughs> um but actually that was uh, that was one of my favorites of uh, i think the first time we had serial customer <laughs> you know peek in right at the end of the scene uh, uh was in um an episode called Up as Text, I think, the one where he and Jung met for the first time in the series. You see them meet. And the reason I liked it was that <clears throat> typically Mr. Mythic comes in for one scene. We we have a song and dance between him and Uppa, and then he leaves. But in that episode, Mr. Mythic got to stick around for half an act and uh, encourage Uppa to, to <clears throat> reunite with uh with Jung and uh so you know it was just great to be able to um be part of the story <laughs> for, for once um <clears throat> the other uh the other one that uh, stands out was when um M Mr. Meta came in after finding out that uh Raj uh and uh mm -hmm. Janet mm -hmm. had <clears throat> What, what that was all about. And I remember <clears throat> it was the last of our scenes for that, I, what was that, season three, season four? Um, it was the last scene that Paul and I shot that season, was that one episode. Um, and it was great because it was the first time where we got to sort of not be those cranky old guys, but, um, you know, we were fathers dealing with, you know, life. And uh, so I, that, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's one that I remember a lot. Oh, I also really loved that scene where you, neither of you knew your first names. Yes. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, what's interesting is that when we, in the original scene, in the writing and in the, uh, and in shooting it, um, we, we both, you find out what uh, Mr. Metha's first name is. Uh, but, when they edited the scene, they dropped that part. So you never did find out what Mr. Meta's name is. However, in another episode, Mrs. Meta uses Mr. Meta's first name once. And that's the only time you ever hear his name used, uh, uh, his first name used. And there's somebody, drives me crazy, there's somebody on IMDb who always goes in and changes my credit on the show to include the first name. But the character's name is Mr. Meta in the scripts and the call sheets, everything. So yeah, that yeah. first name is is maybe some trivia, but it shouldn't be. It's like it's like they've gone in and if you go on IMDb, it's 
really interesting. They've gone in and changed the characters' names for uh, <clears throat> Kimchi. They've given him a, his surname and all this stuff. And so I have to write to IMDb and say, look, folks, I'm on this show. I play this character. That's not the way the character is billed on the show. Can you really? And I have to, every time, because whoever it is comes on and changes the credit again. And because it's, you know, it's like Wikipedia, anybody can make the change. And then, but then I found out after doing this a number of times that <clears throat> IMDb actually has <clears throat> human beings who vet these things. So they've had to vet it so many times because I've complained that they finally, I think, are not changing it to to that anymore. But it's a it's an interesting. I want to find out who who's doing that. <laughs> Thanks. So, can I ask, what's your first name? <laughs> uh, well, in uh, in the show, you find out that his first name is Sanjeev. Oh. Okay. I know that's been asked, but I've never known. So thank you. You found out here, everybody. So in the chat, there's a little uh, idea rolling around about a Mr. Meta, Mr. Chin, and Appa road trip. I think you guys should do it. <laughs> well, there was always, uh, every season, there was always some pie in the sky uh, idea for an episode floating around where we'd all go play golf or we'd all go play <laughs> poker. Because sometimes you hear about us doing that, but you, you never actually saw it. And I actually think in season, well, you don't want any spoilers for season five, but it, you know, it was, it was a great idea that never really happened. Oh, man. But we did get there, that one episode in season two where you, you had all three, Mr. Meta, Mr. Kim, and Mr. Chin in the store at one time. Whoa. Well, I think you should rent your handy car and then hit the road. Um, all right. So um, there are breakout rooms later on that we can go into later. So if you have more questions, you can certainly ask the cast um, in those breakout sessions. Um, but right now, I think I'd really like to bring um, my friend Henry on here. Let's see if we can find him. Hey, Henry. I'm gonna pin Hi, Ann. Hi, everyone. Pinned. Hi, can Hi. everybody see my friend Henry? Yeah. Okay, great. This is Henry. Yay! <laughs> so he is the photographer who does these awesome, like, oh, you can't see it, things. <laughs> so um, he's a. Murphy has it up. Oh, okay, great. Well, he's yeah. a professional photographer. We've been friends since 1996, Henry? Around there, yeah. It's been a long time. And so I'm super proud of his whole entire life. <laughs> And his his skills and so he has a surprise for you guys uh well thanks thanks Anne. i'm really happy to be here um to quote a mr meta line maybe paraphrase uh the mind boggles <laughs> well, i love that line i'm sorry it stuck with me um the mind boggles that i'm here so amongst <laughs> such greatness so um yeah i'm um i do had i have an image that's in the final episode uh of season five um, I'm happy and very thankful to have that. And um, I, uh, I'm going to give something away tonight, a print with that on it, uh, to someone at the end. Um, and uh, I've put it on a few products. So if anyone's interested, uh, I have a website. Um, my uh, website, normal website is culturesnap.ca. And then I have a site where I sell products with my images. And it's called shopculturesnap.ca. So yes i will do that yes um it looks like something's popping up oh yeah so there there's um i've put it on a bag that's the image i put it on a couple of things um and a, a, there's a pillow i don't i actually don't have the pillow here but i make these pillows with some of my images on them well, i guess um you can't see me right now but uh it's stuff like this <laughs> lisa lisa was showing it over there yeah oh, okay okay great so um uh, but I'm going to make a print uh, as part of a giveaway that um, Chi Hung or Ann or someone's going to manage the giveaway part later. Um, and I also uh, would like to give one of the prints to each of the um, actors who are here tonight from the show. So um, oh, it, it'll be an eight, an eight by 10 print. So, and I think oh. um, Daniel or someone yeah. has a, a plan for how we can get it to you. Um, I do live in East Toronto, but 
I think there's a there's a, a kind of a scheme about how to make sure that you guys can get it. So um, <laughs> that's yeah. So Thank you so much. I'm proud Thank to do it. I'm, I love the show. I've watched it all the way through with my wife, and we've been uh, buckling over laughing at all the wonderful human tender, uh, real you know human moments. I just love it. So um, it's a privilege to be in some way connected with this amazing show so thanks for letting me be here tonight um i will put my website in there uh after i finish talking and uh yeah thanks for letting me be here yeah. and thank uh, you yeah, henry you were telling us thank like how that came about like the photo and so forth maybe share that story uh, I, i've known ins for a few years and um and uh you know i actually had the image on a pillow and i had it on my site and I'm like i know ins it's kind of wrong that i don't give him one of these so I gave him one <laughs> and then like a year year and a half later he uh, was chatting with me and said you know I was thinking it might be um, I might like to use the image with the show you know and I, I was like wow I'd be honored and be thrilled and then I found out later that it was going to end up being the final episode through one of the production staff so um, yeah very wonderful I, I made the image like four years ago uh, I do a lot of street street images as part of my my photography i do some documentary projects as well but uh i made the image four years ago no no idea that it would uh end up being part of the show so yeah uh, actually we're going to uh since you're on we're going to do that um uh that choice right now so chi Young's going to help us to uh spin the wheel right okay yeah we can do the giveaway now so yeah. i basically i have um let me just share the screen here. So I have uh, everyone who has registered for this event, their names appear on a wheel. Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> shuffle it a few times. Uh, you have to be in attendance. Um, so if you see your name, if you see um, your name appear as the winner, please uh, appear on camera or just write in the chat or something. Um, so we're gonna spin the wheel uh, for, for, the, for the door prize. So good luck everyone. Winner is Anna Kwan. I believe I saw her earlier. Are you still there, Anna? See her. She's in the comments. She's, She's in the comments? Yeah. Okay. I can't see the chat, so congratulations, Anna. Well, where where are you located at? <laughs> Can you write that on there? Or come on camera? Anna? Oh, hey there. Salut. <laughs> Hi. She's in handy. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> so is Anna in Toronto or? We yeah. Oh amazing. So I'm going to uh, give a, this one. It's a wood block one. It's printed on a wood block. So oh my goodness, that's amazing. Elevated. Thank you. Merci. Yeah. No. So we'll um, figure out a way to get it to you. Uh, yeah. If it's easy to deliver it to a house or whatever, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll ship it. So, but you said uh, you, you're you're in Toronto, right? I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Well, I'm in a like I'm in a So I'll, I'll trust that maybe through um, Chi Hung or uh, Daniel or, yeah. or Anne. Yeah, uh, it's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll make yeah. it. So thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yay! Nice. Congratulations. That's yay. Woohoo! Did <laughs> you figure good. out the price uh, of of the of like? Well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, you can go to the website. I think he's going to update any prices and things on there. Yeah, I'll put the link in a moment. Yeah, but thanks yeah. for the, letting me have this chance to share that. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, great. I'm sure. I I, I warned uh, Henry. I said once this hits, you know, Netflix uh, and people, we're going to promote it on social media as well. You better get uh, more than your family working on sending these things out. <laughs> you may have, to have an army of Kimbits to help people send these out. <laughs> It's a really well, congratulations. Well, um, Henry also has generously um, is going to give a portion of his proceeds. Do you want to explain that a little bit? Sure. Yeah, um, I'm giving a portion of the profits from the sales for the next two weeks to one of two different organizations, um, and I'll put their links in the chat as well. One is called EliminateHate.org, and the other one is uh, it's it's the site is CovidRacism.ca, and both of them are dealing with anti-Asian hate and uh, working to stop that, working against that. Um, so I'll, I'll put the links for those as well, but I'll be giving a portion of my profits from any sales in the next two weeks for that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, really absolutely. Henry. 
Also okay. for the cast members, I actually called the Kim's convenience store owner today <laughs> and asked him if he, if we dropped off the gifts for you, if that would be a great place for you to pick them up. And he said, be, he'd be very happy to be the drop off and pick up point for you guys. Oh, amazing. So you've got a, uh, I think a mailbox. Good, I, there. <laughs> amazing. So there, that's great. That's, that's pretty central. I think to most people in, in Toronto. Except for Aya. Aya doesn't live in Toronto, but. Oh, I do not, but that, that's okay. That's okay. I'll we'll find my way. We'll okay. Out. We'll be in touch with Daniel. If, if Aya gets an address to Daniel or um, Anne or Chihung, then I'll make sure I can mail it to wherever, you, whatever that's address you provide. So generous. Yeah. Thank you so much, Henry. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Yeah. No problem. No problem. I think that's, that's really, uh, that, that's for, for all of us in Kim's Convenience, we, we always have, it's nice to have something to remember the show you know, we don't want to uh, dwell on, you know, of course, uh, season five being the last season, but we just want to, you know, like recount all the memories uh, and build a legacy. And I think the fact that, quote unquote, it doesn't have an ending, I think it means that we make part of that ending, that some of that has been discussed, like we live it out, right, in terms of family and, uh, and, and goodwill to others. But I think all of us... You know, we're, we're the, all the Kim bits have so many different collections of items, right? So we purchase different things. We have uh, so many things that we, uh, I have a file of Kim's Convenience and uh, I've got my membership card. I've got, uh, I think I got that Andrew Funk Beer League thing. So that's my official membership card with the Kim bits number 427. <laughs> Chris has a mask, a Kim's Convenience mask. <laughs> Yeah, that, <laughs> well, that was that was made by uh, Marie France and uh, and she has, Mama Kimbit. Yeah, Mama Kimbit. She she has the OKCU license plate, so she's really gone all in for the. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <convenience>. <laughs> 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 